welcome back to my channel. So today, bigyan ko lang kayo ng tips how to ace your K1 US fiancé visa interview. So disclaimer, so it doesn't mean that mga tips na to will grant you an approval. So it really still depends on your requirements and then information and the answers that you're going to give to the console. So number one, gather all the necessary documents. Guys, make sure na lahat ng documents kompleto kayo. Tsaka kung meron kayong supporting documents, dalhin nyo lahat. Proof, pictures, itinerary, tickets, lahat, dalhin nyo. Nibali ng OA guys, basta ready kayo. Meron akong nakasabay doon, sobrang sobrang kapal ng dala niyang requirements. So kahit mabigat, kahit may rapa kayong magdala, as long as nandun at kompleto, at least meron kayong may pipresent pag meron silang hiningin. Number two, organize your documents. So, ililink ko sa description box below yung ginawa kong vlog about how I prepared and organized my requirements sa envelope and everything. So, at least alam ko kung paano kung saan ko siya kukunin, kung saan ko siya hahanapin. Kasi guys, mas maganda na ready kayo. Pag kunyari din ng name ni Consul na bigay yung information na ganito, at least alam nyo kung saan na hanapin. Mas okay na makita nila na well prepared kayo kaysa yung makita nila na gerado kayo. Number three, review and know your fiancé well. Guys, kung alam nyo lahat ng details regarding kay fiancé, even the smallest one, much better. Kasi kung may tanong man sila, at least confident kayo kung ano yung pwede, pwede nyo kisagot. Number four, sleep early the night before your interview day. Ako guys, hindi ako nakatulog kagad. Sobrang kabado ko, kabado ko sobrang, alam mo yun, maigot-igot ako sa hama kasi hindi ako makatulog. So, ang tulog ko lang nun is parang 3 hours lang. So, sobrang sakit ng ulo ko on the day of my interview. So, huwag niyong gagayahin yun. Matulog kayo. Number 5, dress smart. Guys, no dress code. Walang dress code. Pero, mas okay na na maganda yung suot nyo. Hindi nyo kailangan ng garbo. Hindi nyo kailangan ng mahal. Basta maganda lang siya as in proper siya. I mean, yung maayos. Meron din mga naka-jeans, naka-shirt, naka-sandals, naka-flat shoes, naka-sneakers. Huwag lang kayong mag-shorts, syempre. So, kahit ano lang na blouse, yung maayos, yung malinis, yung planchado. O, yan yung sinuot ko on the day of my interview. Puro luma lang yan. Mga lumang damit ko na nag-office pa. So, pinag-mix and match ko lang siya. So, remember, no dress code, but dress smart. Number six, be at the embassy as early as you can. So, it doesn't matter kung nag-book kayo ng 7.45, ng 8, or 9 a.m. appointment, pumunta kayo ng maaga. Kasi it's first come, first serve basis. Ako, 7.45 yung oras ko. Pero 7 pa lang pinapasok na kami. So guys, agahan nyo. Number 7. Be confident and listen to the questions very well. Ito yung pinaka-key dyan, um, guys. Kasi, mas magandang pakinggan yung mabuti. Parang, kung meron na kayong iniisip, huwag nyo muna isipin. Mag-focus muna kayo dun sa interview. Kasi kung hindi nyo papakinggan mabuti yung tanong, baka mali pa yung masagot nyo, baka maka-apekto pa yun sa approval nyo. For A, it is okay to ask the consul to repeat the question if you didn't hear it the first time. Or sabihin nyo parang, is it okay if you can repeat that back? Okay lang yun. Pero wag naman na too many times na parang pangalo, pangatlo o pang apat na beses na hindi nyo pa rin naiintindihan. You know, hindi, hindi nyo talagang di kayo nakikinig. Kasi mas okay na maintindihan nyo mabuti yung tanong para mas tama yung isagot nyo. For 9, Always be polite. Sa Filipino consul, pwede kayo mag-Tagalog. Tagalog doon. So, sabihin nyo lang na, um, Opo, oo, sagot lang kayo. Maging maayos na yung sagot nyo. And don't forget to say good morning or say thank you. Kasi yun yung mga little things na na-appreciate nila. Number 10. Pause. Organize your thoughts before answering. As mentioned in my previous vlog, mag-pause kayo. Isip kayo na ng sagot and then answer. Basta huwag lang mahabang pause guys ha. Baka sabihin naman hindi kayo nakikinig tapos wala na pala kayo. Sasagot. 11. Give straight to the point answers. Guys, ayaw nila nang paigot-igot ang sagot. Pag may tinanong sa inyo kung ano yung sagot, yun lang. Huwag nyo nang dadagdagan, huwag nyo babawasan. Kung ano yung sagot, yun lang. Kasi the more na pinapahaba nyo yung sagot nyo, the more sila nakakapag-speculate na baka, may, baka hindi mo alam talaga yung tamang sagot, nagkakaroon sila ng doubt, and then nagkakaroon pa sila ng chance na magbigay ng follow-up questions. So guys, kung ano yung tanong, isip mabuti, then yung sagot lang. Huwag dadagdagan. Number 12. Always look straight to the consul's eyes whenever you're answering the question. Mas okay na nakatingin kayo eye to eye kahit hindi siya nakatingin. 
kasi mararamdaman naman nila yun in peripheral vision na nakatingin ka sa kanila. Kasi guys, pag nakatingin ka sa isang tao habang sumasagot ka, the more na nararamdaman nila yung sincerity mo dun sa answer mo. So kahit anong mangyari, be confident pag sumagot ka at nakatingin ka lang lagi sa, ka sa kanila. Huwag kang titingin na tingin ka sa taas, huwag kang titingin sa kilib, ganyan sa baba. Baka maisip nila na, ay, hindi to confident. Hindi niya alam ang sagot. So bibigyan ko kayo ng tip. Meron kasing mga tao na hindi makatingin ng diretso, ng mata sa mata. Which is normal naman kasi parang feeling nyo uncomfortable kayo pag nakatingin kayo ng eye to eye. Kung hindi nyo kaya makapag eye to eye sa isang sa tao, lalo kay console, tingin lang kayo dito. Yan, yung gitnang yan. Kasi pag tumingin kayo dyan, tendency, ang akala ng tao, nakatingin ka sa mata nila. And pinaka best tip of all, pray. Pray guys, sobra. Pray nyo ng OA pero gabi-gabi, may at maya nag-pray ako. Yung sincere na prayer lang. Alam naman ni God ko ano yung pinagdadaanan mo eh. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank my fiancé and his parents for always supporting us. Praying for us to get approved. So mom, dad, thank you, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And thank you for accepting me as your daughter. Even if you're not married yet, you've already treated me like your own daughter. So for that, I'm very, very grateful. Your relatives, your friends who prayed for us, thank you, thank you very much. And thank you so much to my family who's always been supportive from the very beginning. And also to my friends and everyone who prayed for us in order for us to achieve this visa. Thank you very, very much. God knows how much I'm thankful to all of you. Thank you so much sa lahat po na nanonood ng vlogs ako. Lahat nang nagpa-process pa or mag-interview for K1 visa, good luck po sa inyong lahat and God bless. Um, sana po ma-approve po kayong lahat. Don't forget to like and share this vlog and also don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload a vlog. So sana mas marami pa tayong matulungan and thank you, thank you so much sa lahat ng mga nagtatanong. Um, don't worry, I'll try my best to answer your questions. So on my next vlog, guys. Thank you. Bye.